Well, a chilly night for some uh, high school football, but uh, Ashley here in for Nick uh, talking about uh, also the chance for some uh, rain and snow coming our way, right? Yeah, we do have some unsettled weather out there this evening. Most of us, however, just noticing the cloud cover overhead, but temperatures have been falling as we uh, take a look at things right now. Most of us in the 50s, however, closer to the Sierra and foothills right now in the 30s and 40s through the rest of tonight. Thanks to the cloud cover that we do have overhead, temperatures won't be as cold with clear skies that we have seen the last couple of nights. Most of us will only end up in the low 40s to mid 40s later on this evening, but as we take a look at that, Satellite and radar, we are starting to pick up more cloud cover, and that will continue through the start of the weekend. A few rain and snow showers out there this evening as well, all part of a storm system mainly tracking off towards the north, closer to the Pacific Northwest. As we zoom in here a little bit closer, closer to our area, you can see the few light showers that we do have around, right around the Sacramento area, mainly north of I 80, getting closer to the mountains. And we'll continue to keep most of our activity there, especially as we head into tomorrow. As we take a look at future cast, here's a look what we're going to be watching through the rest of tonight. A few light showers out there this evening, a few snow showers even across the Sierra late tonight as well. But heading into early tomorrow morning, another wave of moisture arrives from the west. This will increase rain across the Bay Area and even Delta first, and then most of us picking up a few light showers through the valley, but it's going to be very light. The big amounts going to come mainly north of Sacramento as you get closer to Redding and even further east, closer to the foothills and Sierra. We'll continue to keep the on and off showers going through the afternoon and then by Sunday starting to dry out, but how much more moisture could we get? Well, the Sierra could see another one to four inches of snow from what arrives late this evening and into tomorrow, and we'll continue to keep that going. But as we take a look at temperatures as we head into tomorrow afternoon, very mild, very close to average for this time of the year, with most of us in the low 60s through the Sacramento Valley. As you look towards the foothills and Sierra 30s and 40s on tap, the higher you go, but closer to the valley floor back into the 50s, 59 around Roseville tomorrow. As for the Central Valley, also back into the low 60s, 63 in Stockton, 62 in Modesto, and 62 in Turlock. As we look ahead with your next seven days on your seven-day forecast, we do have a drier trend that'll be settling in just in time to finish off the weekend. So if you do need to get any outdoor plans done, Sunday is the best day to do it. As we take a look at the rest of next week, well, temperature is going to get a little bit warmer by the time we head into Tuesday, even Thursday with mid-60s returning. We are going to keep the cloud cover in the forecast, however, over the next seven days, so get used to the cloudy skies overhead. Guys? All right, we've been warned. Thanks so much, Ashley.